This summer's Taste of Omaha will not have alcohol, and at this point, it doesn't have a location either. That's from the festival director today. He says they're trying to find some place other than Elmwood Park now that the city rejected their liquor license. KTV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon joins us now as vendors wait on more information. Alex. Vendors with trailers and brick and mortars say they last heard from organizers weeks ago. And for some, this is about advertising, and for others, this really is about making money. Jay's Smokehouse grew from a parking lot into a trailer and now into this restaurant space in Papillion, thanks to events like Taste of Omaha, after James Hawk started smoking barbecue a year and a half ago. To this day, uh, we still have a lot of customers that come in to our restaurant saying that they had our food at Taste of Omaha. Residents around Elmwood Park opposed hosting the event this year, convincing city council to deny the festival's liquor license. Festival director Mike Mancuso says his event does not inspire liquor-related incidents, but Elmwood's rejection is forcing him to find another tentative space in the next eight weeks. I had corresponded with them a couple of times, uh, most recently. Uh, the gist of their response back was essentially, you know, we're working on the registration process. Smaller vendors like Hudson's Mini Donut Company only own a trailer, so the event means a weekend of exposure. Uh, in fact, just a few weeks ago, I got a call from someone looking to book a wedding. Uh, and they mentioned that they had uh, met me down at Taste of Omaha. Taste organizers say they'll return to the riverfront in 2024, but delivering a date this year is up in the air as businesses wait for Taste's tables to turn. There is so much traffic that comes through there. It's really important for these smaller restaurants and stuff to get their, their name out there. Organizer Mike Mancuso declined to go on camera today, but tells me they're doing everything they can to make it happen this year. Meanwhile, Omaha's Parks Director says the department extended an offer to organizers to discuss potential options this year. Also, during a Tuesday meeting before the City Council meeting, the Parks Director said an alternative site could include Miller's Landing near Carter Lake. Bill, back to you.